Greetings and salutations everyone, I am as always Darth Devious bringing you another video review this time from Play Arts Kai Batman Arkham Asylum number 3 Armored Batman which I've already taken out of the package there's a nice image of him there it's product shots on the back some really cool ones plus Harley who I previously reviewed bottom nothing top there you go so we'll get that out of here and we'll bring in the Dark Knight himself he really is cool looking he really is I mean I have a previous uh, Play Arts Kai Batman figure, as uh, some have seen, the uh, Arkham City Batman. This one just blows it out of the water. It really does. You see here, he's got some great detail molded in. From the utility belt, armor plating, to cuts and nicks in the armor on his arms. See that? down onto his boots which are a nice purple the boots and the uh, the uh, arm guards gauntlet area Come back here he's got a nice molded cape and this cape because it's from the Arkham Asylum Batman it uh, it can fold out and it can come forward like this, so it really looks like it's uh, it's on it's on joints of its own. So you get this really flared out behind him. See that? Come up and look at his head. And you can see he's got a lot of nice detail on his on his face sculpt. The eyes are done really nicely. And the cowl, and you see the armor continues on the back of his neck. All right. And you see he's holding um, his grapple gun in his hand. And that's a pretty cool little accessory. Come on, there we go. Get it in the actual light. And you can see it's got a lot of nice detail on it. A lot of nice detail. Uh, focus on the gun. There we go. And it's really cool. Really nicely done. <coughs> it also comes with a batarang. If I could pick it up. <laughs> you can see it's a nice Batarang. Same one as the uh, Arkham City Batman came with. But he has a better hand for holding it. You see he can actually look like he's going to throw it. There we go. And he also came with different hands. Um, came with another fist for his right hand and an open hand for his left hand. If you see the, this, this hand there's even molded in armor pieces on that. Alright. Articulation wise he's got 26 points of articulation Heads on a ball joint plus the neck moves. So you got that. Arms, pin and sockets. They have uh, swivels. Elbows have um, these, these uh, joints that have, you know, swivel back and forth. 
So you get ro ro multiple rotation joints there. Same thing with the wrists. They're on the same kind of joint as you can see. That like ball joint type thing with the ratchet in the middle. Alright. Same on the other side. He has the ab crunch waist swivel thing. He does have a waist swivel. It's really tight. Don't want to mess with it. He's got ball joints in his hips plus swivels in there but his hips like to come untabbed but they do swivel back and forth. He's got a double knee with one of those play arts kai joints so that you can hide his knee really really well. And then he's got one of those ball hinge things on his ankles. So all in all he's got some great articulation. So you, you can get him in some really good poses. Or just have him just stand there stoically. However you want. Now I'm going to bring in the uh, Arkham City Batman. And I thought this was cool when I first got it. But when you put him next to this one, you just see how out of proportion the Arkham City version is for being for for himself you know he's just I know play arts Kai sometimes goes for a stylized look um, that one has more trouble standing too it he's more in proportion I mean you can see how well the cape is molded around his shoulders and how his arms and his legs and his thighs are all in proportion his waist is a nice in proportion this one his waist is too thin arms and legs are way too large for the waist they gave him and he just he just looks odd and out of proportion so yeah I know I said I like this one back when I got it and I did it was, it's a really cool Batman I'm not gonna knock it for being a really cool Batman but once you get this one this one kinda goes <clears throat> so there you go now I got this uh, from somebody on Facebook who was selling it and I actually paid only forty dollars for him so it's not too bad because I was looking for this version so if you can find it cheap, I know some places like Amazon and stuff like that, sometimes you can find him for about $45, $50. I recommend it. The armored version seems to be the best version of this particular game from, from the Arkham games, Batman, that they put out. Alright? Okay. So that's enough of that. You guys all be good. The Dark Knight is watching you. Thank you.